Hello everyone and Kachibu. I am Dina Ventura. And I'm Francine Marquez. And, and welcome, welcome to, to Perfect. Perfect. Hello, Hello Francine. Hi, it's the time of the week. Mm -hmm. I hope everyone's happy and steady wherever they are at home or in the workplace. Yes, can't wait to meet our guests. Yeah, so I won't keep the people waiting any longer. <laughs> so it's said that some of the best things in life come when you least expect them. That's why when Anne Matibag and Mimi Dumanuag, two empowered women with different backgrounds, collaborated to produce something that taps into their creative and entrepreneurial spirit, we instantly got the urge to know about it more, diba? We're interested in these kinds of fearless, brave, and beautiful women. Mm -hmm. Here we have Anne Matibag, a first-termer board member of the 1st District of Laguna, where I think I'm also, well, I'm also from Laguna, San Pedro, mm -hmm. and Mini Dumaluwag, CEO mm -hmm. of Art Design Line, Kalima 4 AM Art. Wow. For today's episode of Perfect. So let's welcome them. Anne and Mimi, welcome to the show. Thank you. Hi, good Hi. afternoon. Hi. Hello, hello. hello. Nice to see you. Yes. Nice to be here. <laughs> nice <Yes>. earrings. <laughs> so it's um Anne. Yes. And Anne is the one in red, right? And mm -hmm. <laughs> Mimi is mm -hmm. in black today. Yeah. So we we'll start off with asking how you have been this uh, since 2021 started. How have you been? Oh, um, I'm a new mom. Mm -hmm. I just gave birth last February uh, um, 24. Mm -hmm. So Congrats. I'm enjoying my newborn, and yeah. even if I'm just here at home, Mimi and I are uh, really in communication with our project for the Kababaihans here in San Pedro Laguna mm -hmm. for the livelihood program that we've been uh, waiting to launch to them. Okay. Mm -hmm. And we're yeah, here. I, I just graduated from my master's degree, if you few weeks a few weeks ago oh, congratulations. thank you thank you <laughs> and i'm now currently enrolled as a phd student so studying studying and then also um continuing managing my business remotely wow grabe Just, three months pa lang ang dami nang nangyari sa kanila yeah, and considering <laughs> we're in a pandemic no? still busy trying to be the best uh the best that they could be as yeah. themselves Oh, which oh. wants me to ask the next question. So empowerment, women empowerment has always been your advocacy, Diva. But right now that you're in business, what does it mean for you? Uh, what does women empowerment mean for you in terms of being entrepreneurs? I'd go first, Mimi? Yes. Yeah, sure, sure, Miss Anne. Yeah. Miss Anne. Yeah. <laughs> All right. As a public servant, I've been roaming around my city and... Um, meeting a lot of people and for me women empowerment for my as a public servant for me is uh helping each other helping each woman each mom or each nana here in laguna to have a sustainable um livelihood uh, income for their families because you know during this time of pandemic crisis um we i me, I, I went around with my husband, with my team, and talagang mahirap ang buhay. Mm -hmm. I just hope um, other people would really know the real situation of um, the rural communities in each barangays, in each cities, municipalities, and province. Mm -hmm. So what sort of uh, uh, livelihood programs have you launched since the pandemic? Um, well, last year, uh, it is really funny because uh, we've launched a hand sanitizer kit for my kababai hands. And then, mm -hmm. sabi ko nga, very um, lucky kayo mga, ano ko, mga kababai hands ko. Kasi very timely. Na, well, we don't wish naman that it would happen. Pero 
naging patok talaga yung programa dahil hand sanitizers, maraming mga nag-orders and even other politicians who are my friends or also would order it from them. So even if they are just in their homes, they can um, produce their product and um, yun, naging okay talaga which helped and from sanitizers, I've given them supply of alcohols and talagang naggagawa na lang sila with their own creativity of the alcohol and sanitize, sanitizer production. Mm-hmm. That's good to know. No? Yeah. Especially since marami talagang businesses na natigil. Na wala ng yes. trabaho, yes. ang dami. And how long have you been uh, um, a board member? Uh, um, since uh, June, July 2019, mm-hmm. I'm a first Former board member, okay. yes. Okay. So, what kind of work do you do as a board member? Oh, in legislation, of mm-hmm. course, mm-hmm. we approve resolutions, ordinances from the municipalities to cities and um, from the province. We uh, adopt their resolutions and their laws um, amongst their cities and municipalities. Wow. Mm-hmm. And you can... You know, I'm mm-hmm, sorry. Go, hey, go, 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 go. <laughs> yeah, I'm just curious. Kamo sa naman ng COVID situation natin sa San Pedro Laguna. I mean, mga efforts for maybe quarantine facilities plus yung vaccination efforts. Yeah, there has been an ongoing vaccination program here in mm-hmm. Pasita Astrodome, and of course our quality. Um, quarantine facilities also pero you know um, it's just so sad na um, it's not that really um, advanced or mm-hmm. uh, medyo hindi siya adaptable with with any person na maging mahirap man o mayaman parang hindi talaga siya um, conducive for uh, a quarantine facility mm-hmm. but you know our government here our uh, Um, public servants here are doing their very best to help mm-hmm. each and every pa- patient from our city. Mm-hmm. And um, today, they started the giving of uh, the ayuda from the national mm-hmm. government. Mm-hmm. So they've been grooming around and having house-to-house um, distribution of the ayuda. Okay. Mm-hmm. No, that's good to know. For yeah. all, it takes really one big community to heal in the midst of the pandemic no? and government and private sector should really be working hand in hand oh, for yes. safety and health. How about Miss Mimi Dumalaog? How, how, what oh, has man. been you know, keeping you busy? <laughs> <laughs> um, for the first quarter of the month, it's really about my thesis work. So I've been really focusing all of my attention and the thing is my research interest is women so when miss Anne actually this project is miss Anne's brainchild it's an amazing project that she she thought of and she told me about it and she asked me like can i help her in empowering her her community yung kasama niya sa, sa community sa lugar and i immediately said yes this is a, a an opportunity for me to help them and more importantly i think um it's it's let me just insert this it really makes me so happy because then i can practice both my skills as a business owner and at the same time as a researcher yesterday i've been talking to miss anno um in line with your question of what's women empowerment i told miss ann that if Even in research, that was because I was in government ako before I went to Japan for my masters. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of livelihood program that is not succeed for several reasons. Of course, several factors, but mainly one of the biggest reason is because there are livelihood program, especially for marginalized community. Mm-hmm. It's not community centered, meaning to say, it's not a program that can adapt to the lifestyle, for example, of the nanay. Mm-hmm. When in fact, dapat yung kung program yung nag-a-adopt sa lifestyle nila, hindi nila dapat baguhin yung lifestyle ng mga nanay tulad halimbawa na mm-hmm. siyempre may oras sila dapat for family pa rin, mm-hmm. dapat kaya pa nila pa rin nila maglinis sa bahay. Mm-hmm. So, karamihan ng mga livelihood programs na hihinto, hindi siya sustainable for the community. So, sabi ko, when when Miss Ann approached me, tas mayroon na siyang infrastructure to implement a program. Sabi ko, yes, yes, please, please include me. So, I will be helping Miss Ann not only to teach the community how to make art out 
out of their kampuput, their sampagita, but also really helping her in ano in building the framework of the program that it will be sustainable in the sense that talagang mag ano siya, magpo-progress siya at talagang mm. it will be a community-based, community-centered livelihood program that the nanays in the community will be able to to mm. ano to sustain in the longer and hindi siya parang one-time project stock, one-time project stock. Hopefully, hopefully mm-hmm. that's the plan. Mm-hmm. But how did you get into the jewelry line? Do you have a creative background? Because I know that you've been taking up your masteral studies and then oh, no, no, studies. Oh, and then oh, you have this 4 a.m. Mm-hmm. activity. <laughs> Kasi yung parents ko, lagi kong kinakwento, lagi ako ginigising at 4 a.m. para mag-aral teacher kasi both yung parents ko. <laughs> Tapos pagka-graduate, nagigising pa rin ako ng 4 a.m. Tapos parang sayang kasi nag-Facebook lang ako, Instagram. Tapos so, mag-pick up nga ako ng hobby. Tapos yung unang pinick up ko, flute. Tapos kinikick out ako ng kapatid ko kasi alas 4 ng umaga. <laughs> Nag-flute ako, sakit, tigilan ako nga yan. So yun, from there, so ako, nag-pick up ako ng hobby na pwedeng tahimik. And then, dun, dun nag-start as a hobby, as an art. Tapos nagustuhan ng friends. Typical na story na nagustuhan ng friends. Binenta hanggang sa nakita ko, ah, may potential pala. Then from there, pinagulong na lang. Naging small business siya. Mm-hmm. Pero wala talaga akong background into crafting. Self-taught lang po. Oh, but and how did you meet each other? Mm-hmm. Yeah, but Th- that's what I really want to say. I am Mimi Suke. <laughs> <laughs> I really oh, am. Yeah. Oh my God. So, so <laughs> in in Instagram, siguro like two years ago, pa, right? Mm-hmm. Mimi. Mm-hmm. Oh, so sobrang, that- sobrang supportive ni Miss Atan. So that's how you met and became friends. Yes. Oh, oh. oh, tell and us then, a bit more about the the project that you uh, that you oh, worked oh. on together. Oh, oh. Go ahead. What kind, of, what kind of jewelry line is this? Yeah. Oh, oh. Okay. So since it um it it named the promise, kasi sampagita with our research, ang sabi ng sampagita is sumpa kita. So mm. we translated it to the promise. And since it is one of my causes, kababaihan, kalusugan, and kabataan, mm-hmm. during my campaign trail, I really promised to myself, to myself, na talagang I would uh, love serving mga nanay since it is my advocacy. I'm a new, I'm a mom for for siguro seven years now. And it really changed my life. So, I wanted to connect it with mm-hmm. the nanays around kasi, you know, sa amin dito, hindi talaga sila makaalis ng bahay because they don't have any sources of income and wala mm-hmm. naman silang pambayad sa mga yaya. So, as much as they want to really work, they cannot and they mm-hmm. just have to be with their children. So, I really wanted to have a project, a livelihood program wherein they can stay at home, when their um, kids are sleeping or nasa school, meron silang ginagawa to um, really encourage themselves to earn. On, to, to earn. So I talked to Mimi. Mimi, is this a very, I think this product would be very vital here in my community mm-hmm. since Sampagita, na national flower, and ito talaga nagre-represent sa San Pedro. We have Sampagita Festival here. Our good mayor has a product also for the livelihood, which is the bag. Mm-hmm. Nagawa siya sa um, water lily. And then they painted it with flow, um, Sampagita flowers. So as, mm-hmm. as another, um, another um, high level of promoting our Sampagita, I made it naman po as a jewelry line. Mm-hmm. So dyan nag-start ang The Promise Sampagita Jewelry Line. Wow. Kala ko yeah. pang wedding eh when I read the name. <laughs> wow. ah, wedding, wedding. Yeah. Specialty. Yeah. So, pero what do you think is what is the essence behind the creation of the Sampagita line and Matibag jewelry line? But before you answer that question further, let's pause for a break. Okay. <laughs> Want 
Montero Sport. Elevate your journey. Drive your ambition. Mitsubishi Motors. And we're back, Francine. Yes, and before we had our break, I was asking a Miss Universe question. <laughs> What is the, for Mimi, candidate number one, <laughs> what is the essence of the creation behind the promise, Sampagita? The promise. Jewelry, and Matibag Jewelry line. Maybe in terms of design, color, mm -hmm. ganyan. Maybe should I answer first, Miss Anne? Yeah, yeah, sige, sige. <laughs> Look, we haven't finalized the design that we're gonna release, but as I talked to Miss Anne, we really want the essence to essence of it to be representative of the community. Because this is not about Camila, this is not about Anne Matibag, this is about the Nanais of Laguna. Wow. So at its core, at its essence, we want we want a design that will represent them, their struggles, their journey, their uh, happiness. So we will make sure that whatever design you will come up with at the core of it, it's all about the women, the nanay, and their life. Gaganda ng nanay of Laguna, tingnan nyo. Diba? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. And I noticed yeah. something on your ears. Ang ganda. Is that a Sampagita design? Yes, this is a Sampagita flower. Wow. And in my heart, it's a Sampagita brooch. Wow. I don't know. Thank you. Yeah. Wow. yeah. We love it. Can you know? So, I don't know. What, what about your idea? What was your initial vision about the jewelry line? Mm. Um, okay, for me, yung question kanina, no, yung essence of this Sampagita project. You know, um, here in San Pedro, I want to really revive the heritage of mm. the Sampagita. We have Sampagita Plantation here. Um, most of the vendors, like sa Baclaran Church, they get Sampagita um, Tampupot's um, supply here in San Pedro. And yung Sampagita yeah. na yan, maraming nakatapos ng pag-aaral dahil sa Sampagita. Mm -hmm. So I just want to level it up na hindi lang sa Sampagita Lanka. vendors na mabibenta nila. Even um, we, we are also um, trying to make Sampagita made of candles mm -hmm. and um, Sampagita bags. And then here, mm -hmm. Ang pinaka close to my heart is the Sampagita jewelry na talagang um, it would give a chance for San Pedro and for the Filipino nanays na makagawa ng produkto which we want to sell sa NCR, mm -hmm. sa ibang provinces, or even worldwide, mm -hmm. internationally. Wow. Yes. Yeah. So, so I've so been to... I've been to San Pedro, and then when you enter, there's a chicken, di ba? Yung manok ni San Pedro. Yes. Baka next time, may Sampagita na si San Pedro. <laughs> <laughs> Parang yun, yun. Oh, well, 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 Sampagita. <laughs> so, the pieces are made from real flowers? Paano ba yun? Yes. So, yung yeah, technology so this, for example, yan. Oh, mm, for example, it? this is real sakura. Mm. And then, we're using real sampagita. We dry them. Pero, medyo maiiba, no? Kasi sabi, sabi ko nga nung kausap ko si Miss Ann kahapon, dapat yung, ano, yung local talaga sa area, which is yung kampupot. Marami kasing uli ng sampagita. Eh. Pero sa San Pedro, it's the kampupot. So, sabi ko, Miss Ann, kampupot yung gamitin natin para talagang representative of San Pedro Laguna. Mm, yes. Ano yung kampupot? Yun ba yung perfect? petals like what the ladies are wearing parang maliit siya eh mas maliit the smaller na version na closed siya and then it opens then for, mm. for how many days ang ganda right? it's beautiful yes. oh, come so, to think of it like in Japan diba meron silang mga sakura festival here why not have a sampagita oh, festival a national oh. flower 
Yes. Very true. We actually have some Pagita Festival here in San Pedro during February. So I launched this. Um, uh, kaya lang na move siya on me for the summer. Mm-hmm. So dun na siya. Pero I, since kami, uh, I've worked with Mimi since it's a women's month. I launched it last uh, March. Last month, no March. Okay. Yes. So how many nanas or how many women are involved in the making of the jewelry? A lot. Um, we have 27 barangays here and we have um, small groups which they represent. My Kababaihan group, which is the Lagunanais. Mm-hmm. It's Laguna and Nanay. So, yeah. ang tawag sa group namin is Lagunanay. It's a samahan <laughs> ng maaasahan na kababaihan. Wow. So, um, so per ano, per barangay, we have uh, we have siguro not more than 15 mm. kababaihan. Small group lang muna until we um, expand. expand. Yes. Okay. So you launched the the line last March, and yes. right now it's made of how made up of how many pieces that the women are making? Uh, no, uh we actually have a um, trial palang mm-hmm. with the uh, kampuputs, but we will have a formal training with Mimi. Um, since we had an ECQ na move tang na move, <laughs> but mm-hmm. Mimi and I were. Uh, planning to have a virtual um, training with oh, all the equipments, the supplies, and we just cannot wait to launch this talaga since itong pandemic. Okay. But I'm interested, ha? Kasi very fragile yung kampukot. True. So, it's something nice na you're actually wearing a real flower jewelry. True, true. Actually, um, th- that's the beauty of it. Po. The flowers in itself, very fragile, but when you process it into art, it can last a lifetime. So, nandun na yung imprint. Mm. For example, this one, this is Sakura, no? So, you mm. know Sakura is very pro- fragile. Kahit yeah. nabalipuliin pa siya, it's okay. Ganda. Yes. Mm-hmm. Kasi na-process na siya after. Ang ganda. Parang mas thoughtful kasi alam mo, parang it really came from nature. Tapos, di ba? There's a habit of... We preserve it. Mm-hmm. I see some... Kasi my province is from Laguna. And then I see some elderly. They put flowers behind their mm-hmm. ears. Para pang pabango, pang pahimbing daw. So that's a very nice thought. Na yung sampagita as a jewelry line. Yes. So is this going to be offered for a limited time only? Or... And how will you market it? Oh, I hope this would gonna be this will be forever. <laughs> so we're gonna market it uh, with the help of Mimi mm-hmm. through our um, social media accounts, mm-hmm. and then um, siguro dito na po sa San Pedro sa mga kakilala. This um, the amount of these flowers are very ano naman. Uh, Right, Mimi? Hindi naman siya talaga ganun kamamahal like in the stores. Mm-hmm. But very affordable and would we, we would really put a percentage of it more sa kababaihans. So we are just taking um, the some percentage be, because of the supplies. Pero everything, lahat mapupunta sa mga nanays. Kung baga, we learn and we would uh, try na mapaikot yung kanilang uh, mga sari-sariling uh, pag-produce ng ganitong mga products. Mm. I like that idea na San Pedro, Laguna is coming up with it with its own craft, no? Kasi Laguna is really known as craft capital of the Philippines. It's diba? like Luban, you go Coptics. to... Yes. yes, Luban, ano pa, yun. Paete for the wood carving, and then Dumban yes. for the embroidery nga, di ba? And then Luciana for the bayong mm-hmm. and all. Pero San Pedro, Sampagita Jewelry Line. Ganda! Yes! Ang ganda yun! Ang ganda ng idea ni Anne. Oo nga. Thank you. It's a continuum of the 
the way crafts in the Philippines are in Laguna. Mm-hmm. Oh, ano? Hindi ko siya naisip. Ito nun. Ganda ang branding ng Miss Ad. Adapt na natin yan. Yeah. <laughs> you heard it first in Fairfax. Yeah, you heard it first. Yeah, it's Fairfax. Pero so, curious ako, Francine, muna kasi mm-hmm. jewelry, di ba? Why jewelry? Mm-hmm. Ano, may personal healing ka ba, Miss Anne? Do you collect yes. jewelry? Oo. Um, ever since nung bata pa ako, ako talaga, I don't really wear more of rings or bracelet. Mas mm. ano ako sa earrings. Mm. Na kasi at first, tingin mo wow. sa tao, makikita mo na agad. And then, so, eto, nung nakita ko yung mga products ni Mimi, it really makes me so excited. Kasi nung una pa lang, nakita ko, may sakura siya. So, sabi ko, oh my gosh, pwede pala to na pre-preserve nila. Like, kunwari, yung uh, boyfriend mo, binigyan ka niya ng rose. And then, if you wanna preserve it, so pwede sure. gagawin ng mimi na earrings or necklace or phone cover, phone case. So, eto naman, sabi ko, as I, I was browsing on it, sabi ko, Pwede kayang sampagita. And then finally, si Mimi nag-launch siya na ng sampagita na si Miss Annie na request. Oo. Nice. Nice. So, ang tawag nga namin kay Miss Annie, sampagita tita, i-offer natin kay, ano, kay Miss Annie kasi she loves sampagita. <laughs> 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 sampagita tita. <laughs> yeah, so sabi ko, Mimi, I hope you can uh, na-create naman sampagita kasi here in the Philippines, yun ang national. At tas ayun na nga, nag-launch na si Mimi. So from there on, this is I hope a uh, true history. Na it would be a successful and a great hit for the San, San Pedro's Kababaihan community. Yeah, na po. Kaya pala the promise, kasi it's really a promising Venture. project. Yeah. I can see the future. Parang oh. launching it to the world, then, de ba? The San yes. <laughs> Ang galing din ni Mimi, kasi she can preserve flowers. Ayun nga eh. Oh, oh. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. But what I want to find out, kasi I'm sure a lot of our Katribo viewers right now have just turned into some pag some pagita tita with your story. <laughs> Where did you get them? Ako isa na don. <laughs> <laughs> so oh, oh, um, saan ba? <laughs> one of the one of the and then one of the um hmm. part of Camila as partnership. Ito din yung nasabi ko kay Ms. Ann before na um, one of the problems usually ng livelihood program is the marketing aspect. So kahit na ma-produce ng community, hirap din syempre yung community to market it. Tapos sabi ko, it's it's a perfect ano, it's a perfect um, working relation between me, me and Ms. Ann because Camila itself already has our own community of flower lovers. So, iba-iba naman. Mm-hmm. Meron kaming sakura. May mga sakura tita kami, may mga rose tita kami, <laughs> may mga sampagita tita kami. So, we can really help in in the marketing of the product. And of course, more than me, si Miss Anne has a wide network, no? So, mas maraming network si Miss Anne sa mga tita na who would love the, who would love the product. So, um, for now, we will start launching the Instagram account of Miss mm-hmm. Anne Matibax Project. So, maybe we can, ano, we can forward the username later. But mm-hmm. they can also start checking us at Camila's 4AM Art on Instagram and Facebook. And Miss Anne has her own Instagram account then. And we will keep everyone up to date until the release of the design. So, thank wow. you so much no, at least naka-start na kami mag-market like ah please ano so <laughs> yes, yeah again, oh. again. so kailan yung timeline nyo yung actual launch like May ba ito or within I the hope month? yeah we Mimi and I are working on it talaga sabi ko Mimi we really have to start it na mag-virtual na tayo mga kababaihans dito I've been announcing it to them and they've been asking me Bukal, ah, kailan lang tayo magsistart? Ready na kang mga kamay namin. So sabi ko kay Mimi, we can't just wait for everyone na ma-vaccine and for the government to announce that mm. everything. Mm-hmm. So we just want to start it virtually now. And I hope mm-hmm. since um, our um, local government here has moved the San Pagita mm-hmm. Festival on May, mm-hmm. I hope it's gonna be uh, kicking already by the start of May. Oh, ang galing. Mm-hmm. Wow, I can't wait. 
Bagay na bagay, May kasi Mother's Month. Oh, oh. Diba? Yes! Nanay <laughs> man! Oo! Oh, oh, yes. diba? yes. Sa mga nanay ito eh. At yes, saka, that's think, right. I think that's what we need right now. Kasi sabi nga nila during the pandemic, nanay yung mga original fl- frontliners, diba? They're the ones who take care of the house. And then, they're the ones who also think about the economics of the home also. So, True. bagay na bagay to the game project ni Anne and Amy for moms. Oh, Especially Anne is a mom. mom. Oo, oh, oh. alam ni Anne ang concerns mm-hmm. of women, mothers. Diba? I can't wait. Oh, oh. Yes. Pero, mm-hmm. But so far, sang pagita lang talaga yung ano muna, no? I, th- I think. Product. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Just to keep it strong as a brand. Yes. Yeah. Galing. Gusto ko magpakwento kay Mimi kay, yung kanyang 4am habit eh. <laughs> <laughs> When was that? When was that born? Oh, as early as 7 years old. Huh? Pero, oo, oh, oh, teachers yung parents ko. Talaga medyo strict sila for for studying, no? Mm-hmm. Pero don't worry, maaga nila akong pinapatulog nung bata ako. <laughs> Talagang at 7, tulog na ata ako, 8. Mm-hmm. Tapos gigising ng 4. Mm-hmm. Automatic gigising ng 4 mm-hmm. para mag-aral. So, because, um... I came from a poor family. So talagang dinrel in sa akin ng nanay tatay ko na you know what? You need to study para we can improve our life in the future. So talagang aral ng aral ng aral since I was young. So yun, doon nag-born yung 4 AM art na I've been doing it for 20. Almost 20 wow. years. So kahit na gumraduate na ako, nagigising pa rin ako ng 4 AM. Well, ngayon, nung naglipat ako ng Japan, medyo naiba yung... <laughs> Parang hindi na, hindi na 4 AM, mga 5.30 na yung gising ko, ganyan. But yun, but that's how it started. Okay. Mm. But let me tell you, mm. a lot of the most powerful women wake up at 4 a.m. Yeah, so ah, you're uh, in, Winfrey. You're in good company. And Michelle Obama. <laughs> <laughs> lahat, <laughs> halos, wow. oh, halos lahat ng na interview namin na successful CEOs oh. and business owners, they wake up at 4. Oh, wow. <laughs> they start their day at 4. Oh, oh, I so can <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully in the future, makalinya with them. Uh, <laughs> they work yeah. hard. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, oh. I'm sure. Yes. So, yeah, are we ready for our show and tell? Aye, okay. But we before all, oh, their accounts. Yes. Okay. Before, <laughs> before we do that, let's pause for uh, another break. Araneta City, home to the country's first indoor shopping mall, the world's original thriller, and the first ever Bini Bini pageant. Now a place for your first win, your first catch, your first home, your first big break, your first date, and even your first love. Araneta City, the city of firsts. gaming operators o POGO ay isang legitimate business entity na nagbibigay serbisyo sa offshore gaming para lamang sa mga manlalarong nasa abroad sa pamamagitan ng internet. Ang mga serbisyong handog nito ay katulad ng casino games at sports betting na pwedeng laruin kahit wala sa casino. Sa Pilipinas, walang POGO operators. Tanging POGO service providers lamang dahil nagaganap ang mga laro sa labas ng bansa. Hello, and we're back. 
I'm Francine Marquez and I'm with a beautiful Dina Ventura. <laughs> <laughs> and we're talking to Anne Matibag and Mimi Tumaluwag. Dumalaog. <laughs> Dumalaog. <laughs> of, ano, Dumalaog of uh, uh, two empowered women who have done a collaboration called The Promise, the Anne Matibag Jewelry Line. And before we had a break, we told them our secret. We just trolled their Instagram <laughs> accounts and we'll be showing them some photos. So, ladies, if you will allow us, just give us some, a little bit of a story behind these photos. Okay. First, John. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> That's my maternity shoe. With, um, that's the time also when uh, we had shoot with the uh, Sampagita jewelry. So um, it, that is memorable for me because um, it is, well, first it's in Shambhala, Living Museum, it, my, which my, the family of my husband owns it. So it's a uh, parashang ano. Um, mga ifugao huts nandoon. So, parang nasa north like um, environment ka. Well, in fact, you were just here in the south. Ooh. So, I am a mom of three and that's special because I think that's been, well, that's the last na for me to have a maternity shoot because I, I unfortunately, I'm ligated already. Oh. I had a um, uh, an emergency CS that the doctor said na meron ako nga kumbaga yung mga intestines ko mm. in, inside my body the internal healing hindi siya ganun naging maganda so they had to ligate me or else baka mapunit na yung mga mm. intestine ganyan mm-hmm. so there that's my maternity shoot for uh, for mm. my bunso Mariana oh, Adriana Wow, Beautiful. pero kabog ang mga pregnancy shots nila, Aunt Rebecca. <laughs> <laughs> Wala sila so, ang matibag. Wala yes, sila lang mga. <laughs> you know that, ano, that um, the, the one I'm wearing is from Tuesday Bello, a local designer here in San Pedro. Mm. Um, so, yun nag-makeup sa akin, makeup artist din na from San Pedro. And the one who shoot is a photographer from living here in San Pedro also. Ganyan. So, I'm catering the talents of my community, of my my beloved San Pedronians. Very good. <laughs> Amazing creative community. Yeah. yeah. Okay, next. next photo. <laughs> I knew it. Me mabal kali. Me mabal kali. Ibang ano to? Ano ang nangyayari kay Mimi dyan? Sorry <laughs> lang ba yan? Manamit nangyayari. Hindi, hindi siya 4 a.m. Ano to? Um, kasi ang lamig dito. So, bilang isang batang nanggaling sa mainit na bansa. Oh. Oh, ang bilis ko lamigin. <laughs> Napakabilis kong lamigin. So, actually, aside from Camila, Ah, sakto. Aside from Camila, nag-start kami ng, ano, ng new venture ngayon na, yung picture na yun is in promotion of the new venture. Gumawa kami ng towel, yoga mat, out of oh. ano, recycled water bottle naman siya. Wow. Oh, oh, ang galing nito mga guests natin. <laughs> so, they did roll out pa lang namin siya. Tapos, sobrang nipis niya. Ginadala ko lagi siya as blanket. Uh-huh. Tapos, yun yung oh. time na nag-aaral ako. Sobrang lamig. Tapos, tinakpan ko na yung ulo ko sa yung lamig. <laughs> Tapos, yung kasama ko hiyang-hiya. Tapos, so, yung mahiya ka. Kasi yung mga Japanese na nito. Anong ginagawa nito? <laughs> <laughs> the design, ha? Like, what is the leaf? What's the leaf pattern? Um, this is for actually ah the leaf pattern here is anahaw naman at saka um yung monstera kasi yun yung time na oh. usong gusto yung mga plantita plantita monstera so, yeah so yun ang dinesign <laughs> sabi ko na nga ba yun ang makukuha eh <laughs> <laughs> okay. or we just match the veil of Anne kasi eh <laughs> oh <laughs> okay next oh there, there is my Maria Adriana, my third child. Actually, my fourth, my second pregnancy because I had miscarriage. Mm-hmm. So, I'm, in my heart, I always say I, I am a mom of four. Pero the living ones is there. Sabinso si Mariana Adriana. 
Beautiful baby. No, <laughs> I just told us kagigising lang from the bed. <laughs> yes. <laughs> when you had our break. Oh. Mm-hmm. I heard. <laughs> yeah. All right, next. Hmm. So, this is uh, <laughs> my my business partner slash manager and sometime part time ano partner in life. Wait. Na, <laughs> so it may ang ang dynamics kasi namin. Lagi kami nag aaway aaway na. I mean, Okay na away naman. So, lagi kaming nagtatalo as a business partner, brainstorming idea. This, this is in Gifu, isa sa pinakamagandang library na nakita ko sa buhay ko. So, sabi ko nga sa kanya, you know what, once we build the business and once we have the finances, gusto ko talagang mag-build ng library na ganito kaganda na yung family mismo. Kasi nagiging playground siya ng mga bata kasi sobrang ganda niya. And it encourages the kid to read. Kasi nga, hindi nakakatakot tingnan yung library. And so, once I have the financial capability, papatayo din ako ng magandang library that the kids will be encouraged to read. Kasi nga, yun yung value na binilagay sa akin ng nanay at tatay ko na magbasa ka na magbasa kasi this will help you be successful in life. And I want that kind of ano, thinking be passed on to the next generation. Kaya, yan yung photo. Yan yung background na... Mimi, dito sa San Pedro, yan, ha? Ah, yeah. Oo. Huwag kahanta ka, Mimi. Pwede. At least, meron na akong support ng local government. Hindi na yeah. mag-alala. Oh. Mag- At saka mag- kami ni Dina, support kahanta oh. ka. Ha, <laughs> yeah. Ganda nga. Ang ganda. I think that's ganda. what you should do. It should be in a very conducive place, really. Libraries <laughs> to encourage more kids to read them. Mimi, are you an only child? Panganay po. Oh, for okay. ano, eldest of four kids. Four kids. Okay. Mm-hmm. Sige. Our next photo. Yon. Ah, yeah. Okay, work. <laughs> uh, that's my, ano, the time when I filed my um, candidacy as a provincial <laughs> board member here in the province of Laguna. With me is... BMJM Karait, and then Vice Governor, Attorney Karen Agapay. Nasa Comelec office kami niyan. <laughs> Filing. Yes, and we are under PDP Laban. Why did, was, what? Mm-hmm. Yes, please, please. Well, Why did you decide to to join politics? Is uh, actually, um, I am a department head from the Philippine Electricity Market Corporation and um, I had no, this is actually not a dream or gusto ko maging public servant but uh, our good governor in the province of Laguna invited my husband to run. Kaya lang of course my husband and is in the national government and um, my husband kasi is a no way, is um, really loves San Pedro. Mm-hmm. He ran here, but unfortunately, hindi siya nananalo. So, he yeah, maybe tried my luck na sabi niya, and ikaw, ito na lang, ganyan, since I have a heart then of with public service. So, I tried, and luckily, in God's grace, nanalo naman po tayo, naging number one board wow. member tayo last elections here in mm-hmm. the first district of Laguna. Mm. Galing ah. First try, first And time. you haven't stopped ever since. <laughs> <laughs> July. Pandemic man yan or what? Oh, oh, it happened during the pandemic pa, no? Yes. Double challenge to serve. Yes. Um, It's, it's actually challenging because for us, we are in the legislative. So, you know, in the legislative department, you know, naman, wala naman kaming enough pondo eh. We, we, mm-hmm. me, I use everything with, with what I give. I use my salary wow. and um, yung mga allowances. Talagang bigay ko lahat sa tao. Kasi, mm-hmm. uh, well, I'm grateful naman. I have another work and I have business. So, eto talaga eh, kumbaga, binigay ng Diyos sa akin. So, talagang binabalik ko talaga sa tao. Mm-hmm. Nakakatuwa naman na doon. Oh, Dina, ang swerte nila. There's hope in our <laughs> new generation. Right. Oh. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> woke na woke. Oh. <laughs> Alright, next photo please. Ayan. 
<laughs> wala talaga meron <laughs> kasi um, yung page namin sa Camila laging I try as much as I can to to share the ups and downs of my journey as a master student in Japan and as a business owner and as an individual going through the ups and downs of life so ito yung I think ang story behind nito is um ano ba parang nakalim may parang may event tapos nakalim ini-expect ko may ibibigay yung yung jowa ko na flower tapos feeling ko nakalimutan niya yung pala surprise niya lang ako tapos kaya naiiyak-iyak ako diyan tapos um he gave me a box bouquet tapos inexplain niya kung bakit box bouquet tapos inexplain niya yung meaning behind the flowers and i just got very ano very emotional that's the crying photo yan niya Ganda. Yung happiness mo naman nagbo-bloom. I like the, ano, yung napaka-natural ng expression. Oh. Hindi siya yung mga post Instagram na mga uh. <laughs> woke up like this pero <laughs> hindi naman. <laughs> Eto, ah. I really cried. <laughs> At saka ano pala, ito yung story na kasi um, I just wanted to share how how lucky I am that I met my partner and at the same time encouraging everyone. Kasi everyone was young at the time and when i was young i used to parang settle down i, I didn't know better syempre i used to settle down with with a person na hindi i was not treating me as much as i wanted to be treated just now that i'm in, with a better person i realized ko na ah i was setting my standards so low before so i was sharing that na you know what girls if if you can wait It's better to wait because that I think then yung tamang tao that will treat you right. So yun yun yung I think yun yung scenario ko in that post. Oh, parang wow. ibang ibang show isang buong show na usapan yun na. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Pero ang ato lang ko yan ang tamis. Oh. Yes. <laughs> And that's also part of I guess it's also part of women empowerment, de ba? Yes. True. True. Yeah. We meet our match, and meanwhile. And as always, we're more than enough. Ay! Yeah. Ma- 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 <laughs> tita quote tita yan. Tita quote. <laughs> My best friend scene. Print natin at yung frame yan. <laughs> okay. Our next photo naman. Wow. Where is this? Is that your... Uh... That is in Shambhala where we had our shoots. Um, during the Sempa- the Promise Sampagita jewelry line. So it is in Shambhala Living Museum. The one um, here in the photo is my husband. That's Melvin. And bis- between us is Ate Riza Muyot na Ate ni Melvin. So it's the Matibag's family's um, property or it's Shambhala. Shambhala kasi means in heaven. So that is dedicated to their parents na we're gone na. So when you go there, it's really a beautiful um, place here in Cavite. So it, it is in, ano na, in, um, I don't know which which city, ano, city in Cavite, but nasa Cavite siya. And if you have time, Fair, perfect, the daily tribune, ano, we can eat there and visit the place. Mm-hmm. It's really nice. What kind of place is Shambhala? Is it, a, you said museum, so meron ka ding ano doon, part where you serve food? And, yes. And, and there's um, Ifugao huts where oh. they can cater overnight stays or oh. how many day of stays. Yes. Naman. It's really nice. So, parang pagdating, pagdating mo doon, um, it's like you're in heaven. <laughs> so, parang for them, they go there whenever they miss their parents and stay there as a family during vacations. Mm-hmm. Okay. Wow. So it Maybe was... when travel has east, no? oh. we can travel there. <laughs> Promise. Yeah. Me, Promise me, when you are here. Mag-live, yes, ano me, when you're here, I'll bring you in Shambhala. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and that is where we also plan to plant sampagitas. Oh, nice. Uh-huh. It's like a mini plantation mm-hmm. na puro sampagitas siya. Okay. Oh, that's another story, ha, Francine? Dami yeah. natin na kapuha. <laughs> okay, we're uh, sa last photo na tayo. Ayan. 
Yay. Ay, maganda na. <laughs> this is my graduation last March 25. So, I I actually am a scholar of Japan. So, ano, sagot ng Japan, Japanese government yung master's degree ko. They pay for my education and my lodging and my allowance and everything. So, uh, I've been studying here for three years na. Wow. Three years na ka dito. Mm-hmm. And then, after the three long years, finally, I, fa- I finished my master's degree. Yan wow. siya. Wow. Congratulations. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Three years of no oh, eye bags. Man. How did you do oh. that? <laughs> Arigato. Arigato. <laughs> Yun lang alam ko. Mayo <laughs> gusaymas. No, mo, Miss Francine, three years na ako dito. Yun lang din yung alam ko. Hindi ko na naaral yung ilang. Meron pa when they start talking, when friends talk to me, I just say, Sadis ne. <laughs> <laughs> So what are your plans? Are you going to set your a uh, set up a business here in the Philippines or stay in Japan? Um I am staying in Japan but actually uh recently no and I mean um we won a startup pitch competition in Japan. We we're not the champion but we got a um Fandino award mm-hmm. and then we're working on that hopefully it's something that we can build bigger than what we are building right now it's a startup to enable small business owners to grow in social media because when i was starting camila i didn't realize how hard it is to use social media for your business and then it took me it took me a long while to get to know social media iba kasi siya if it's a personal use versus when using it for a business and therefore i said to myself na i don't want other small business owners to go through what i went through lalo pa ngayon na all small businesses needed to be present on ano, social media because of the pandemic. So, yeah. I can just imagine the lolos, the lolas, the titas, and the titos who are not very versed in social media. So, we pitched that idea that I will enable the small business owners to grow on social media easily parang content making. And then we won the pitch competition. And then, hopefully, in the next few months, if not year, we will build a business both in Japan and Philippines. And we're gonna focus our efforts on that. So yeah. yun, yun yung pinagkakaabalhan yun and yun yung trajectory ng aking career, hopefully. Wow. And of course, work with the project with Miss Anne sa kanyang The Promise. Yeah, the promise. Make it a sustainable yes. livelihood program for, for Banana of Laguna. Oh, oh we, yeah. we support so that. Oh. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you almost, po. Yeah, almost overtime na ta- tayo. And now it's again. Marami pa tayong gusto malaman about these two beautiful ladies. Inside and out. Nice. Yes. <laughs> so, Francine, inspired yeah. na naman tayo by this conversation, ano? Ang ating Wednesday. Yes. We've, the, we've, yeah, maybe, maybe before we... We call it a sh- the end of our show for now. Uh, Maybe let's ask some parting words from the two ladies. Yes. Yung short ano lang, Message. inspiring quotes from you. I'll give it to Miss Anne because I want to ano, I want to give the spotlight to the new project. So go ahead, Miss Anne. Uh, thank you, thank you, Pair Perfect, for inviting us today. And um, I just really wish that this project will be uh, will serve as an inspiration. To anyone and to all the women out there, and I hope they will help and um, uh, appreciate the art that is um, being um, catered by the Lagunanais, by the Kababaihan community here in San Pedro, um, nationwide, worldwide. And I want to thank Mimi. This would be... Um, possible without your help talaga Mimi and I am so grateful that you always have time to answer me and uh, finally we'll start up now with our virtual training with our kababaihans here so thank you thank you so much and um, please um, stay home and be safe let's always pray that this pandemic crisis will be over soon Yes, yeah, so thank you then po for for inviting us so we can share the story of Miss Anne's Brainchild Project. Hopefully we can get more people to support this kind of initiatives. 
Oh, we support you. That's for sure, sure. right, Francine? Yes, of course. Thank you. Once again, a very inspiring afternoon. We'd like to thank Miss Anne Matibag and Mimi Dumalao for joining us today. Yes. I am Dina Ventura. And I'm Francine Marquez. And, and this, this has been Perfect. Perfect.